ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಶಿನ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನೋತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮುನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿ ಕಾಮ ಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷು ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹ 
ಹರಿ ಪತ್ರ ಪತ್ರೋ ವಿಚಾರ ಕುರುತೆ ನ ಸಂ ಪರಂ ವೀಕ್ಷತೆ ದಯಾ ದಿಯೋ ಬ ವಿಮರ್ಶಕ ನ ಹಿ ನೋ ಬ ಕಾಲ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಭು ಯ ಶದ್ದು ಪ್ರಣಮನ ಧ್ಯಾನ ದೀನ ದುರ್ಲಭಂ ದತ್ತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರಸಂ ಸ ಮೇ ಗೌರ ಸ ಮೇ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗೌರ ಪರಮ ಗೋತಿ ಪರಮ ಗೋತಿ ಮೇ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶಿಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಜಗ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಪರಮಂಶ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಸೇಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಯಲ್ ಗೌರಿಯ ಡಿಬೋಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಎಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ನಾನ್ ಡಿಬೋಟಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ninety percent people they cannot understand what is genuine gaur bhakti who is actual gaur bhakta who is not bhakta in the guise of bhakta demon impossible or next to impossible the rate i mean i mean the mixing truth and untruth increasing in alarming state so alarming rate that at present it is quite impossible or next to impossible to understand what is real bhakti actual bhakti what is not what is bhakti what is bhakti and non devotee because i am also in the base of tilak mala like everything who can understand that i am not a devotee is impossible sila sachidanand bhakti mein thakur sila sachidanand bhakti mein thakur has written one nice you know siddhant vichar gauro bimukh nijo jane jani pahar gauro bimukh nijo jane jani pahar bujha galo ಗೌರ ವಿಮುಖ ನಿಜ ಜನಿ ಜನಿ ಪರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎವರ್ಸಿಪ್ ಟು ಗೌರ ಭಜನ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮೈ ಮಾದರ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಮೈ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಮೈ ವೈಫ್ ಮೈ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಸನ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟಿಪ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲಿಪ್ ಸಿಲ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛಿದಾನಂದ ವಕ್ತಿ ಠಾಕು ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಗೌರ ವಿಮುಖ ನಿಜ ಜಾನಿ ಜಾನಿ ಪರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎವರ್ಸಿಪ್ ಟು ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಮೇ ಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥ್ರೋ ಇಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮಿಕ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ as your director your director is your fanciful mind so guru vishnu can never take your responsibility go anywhere so gauro bimukh nijo jani jani por now who can understand who is against gauranga mahaprabhu that evidence i mean siddhanto bhakti our prabhupad speaking bhakti siddhanto saraswati he is speaking how to realize who is against gauranga because externally not possible hiranna gosi book can enjoy full sovereignty even demigods are bound to bow into a head then everybody is a hiranna gosi at present at present also if you go to lanka sri lanka if you speak anything even ravan they can slap you you can go yes one cricket man he is coming to me staying with me he is actually vaishnav but is is going there speaking if you speak anything against ravan they can slap you kill you they worship ravan doing arati so such a foolish is rare popa speaking if you are going to honor popa speaking 
if you are going to honor Kangsa as the maternal uncle of Krishna, then you are foolish number one. Really so, maternal uncle. So, Papa speaking, if somebody is going to honor Kangsa as the maternal uncle of Krishna, then idiot number one. So, this kind of condition prevailing everywhere, misconception. So, they are all worshipping Ravan. Ravan is a great personality. So, if you are enjoying big pratishtha, lava, puja pratishtha, billions of dollars, hundreds of temples, then everybody can honor. It's quite natural. Who can honor a pure devotee? Who can honor a pure devotee? After understanding, then they can honor. Na? Follow. We honor Pahupad Bhakti Siddhanta because we know. We know who is Prabhupada. By now we have some, not complete, but still we honor. If you put the deity of Gauranga Mahapu in Africa, forest, the tribals, what is? They can throw it in the jungle or break it. Because they have no idea about who Gauranga Mahapu is. Gauranga Mahapu is Supreme Lord, they have no idea. So, we are depending upon Srauta Pantha. That's why at present we are reaching up to this point, which is nothing. I'm not speaking I am in a position, I'm nothing. But still, whatever position at present we come, that is also by the mercy of Srauta Pantha, Bani. And if you are going to make some manipulation in the Bani itself, then you are number one Kamsa. You are number one Hiranyakasivu. Number one Ravan. Because you are going to make very easy. Because if manipulation is Bani, <coughs> automatically chain wise in future all can get destroyed. It's a very clever you are. You are clever like crow and jackal. You can get some award. You are getting some award, not getting some award by Mayavadi. You are getting award. So, Prabhupada speaking, to understand who is actual Gauru devotee, Gauru Bhakta, who is not, you have to be very careful. As well as now, confusion is, great confusion all around. So how to realize, Prabhupada speaking, you wait and watch. You wait and watch, you see their character, behavior, big acharya. Watch their activities. You watch their speech. We watch their writing. We watch their comment. Immediately you can understand they are antagonist. Immediately you can arrest. The antagonist. Otherwise, no way. Externally, all same. Uh, same mean they are enjoying big honor all over the world. So you have no scope to identify. So this way, now there is one big confusion around. So I think it's very rare. Such a devotee is very rare who can understand the Siddhanta Vichara of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Vishnu. Rare. It's very really impossible. So Prabhupada speaking, we have to watch. You can find all their activities, all their comments. All their writing, all their speech. You can make some scrutiny. I told them, no? Prabhupada speaking, I am the proof, I am not only the proofreader of book and papers, I am proofreader of your character, your behavior, your activities, your bhajan, you are doing rang bhajan. That is mercy. That is not enmity. That is not any their enemy. They are misguiding you. But it is not enmity. Out of mercy, they are going to speak. This is right. But you are not going to. What to do? Some days before, some question came in our internet that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada told, I can, come, I can come down to any level for the actual preaching of Chaitanya Bhagavan. 
And Srila Bhava Maharaj also speaking all the time. So what wrong in his death, international Acharya speaking? This way, he can. It's also, he can come down to any level. I say, you are idiot number one. You have no ABC knowledge about bhajan. That's why speaking. I can come down to any level. That doesn't mean I can start criticizing pure Guru Vaishnava and I can do anything. Not that. You cannot understand. You are not, I think you are not initiated. Though you can claim you are initiated, I think you are not. Basic knowledge is not there. I can't come down to any level. That doesn't mean I can do anything. Like a foolish. All acharan I can throw, I can come down to any level with shudra and do anything. Not that. Same misconception is there about one sloka in Gita. Those who are having equal sight, brahmane, shudre, shapache, all same, uh, they are actually great sadhu. Everybody going to manipulate, misconception. They are going to take undue advantage. And going to prove those who are maintaining achara, achara oh, useless. He is reading, they are not sadhu. Speaking this way. Everybody likes to take undue advantage. Our Keshav Goswami used to say, even devils can quote scriptures. Even devils can quote scriptures. So what? So you are quoting scripture, that doesn't mean you are sadhu. Maybe you are Ravan. Who can say? Hiranyakasipu was giving consolation to mother and, and wife or brother. Hiranyakasipu. Oh, Ambo, Ambo, this life is unstable. Eh? Are you idiot. First of all, you try to realize that life is unstable before giving lecture. Like Hiranyakasipu, you are passing lecture. Eh? You realize that life is unstable, then why you are running behind stool and urine? Huh? You like to make fool of me. So, Keshav Goswami used to say, devils can also quote scripture. Devils are searching. Devils are searching all sastra where there is some sloka which is just matching with my heart to support all my, huh? all my wrong activities. Ah, he's reading in sastra. This way, they like to search Sastra. It is their duty. They are less interested about Sastra. They are less interested about Bhagavan. No. But they are very interested to search Sastra and find some quotation and sloka to support their own wrong activities. Like Shankar Bhagavan. Shankar Bhagavan, no fault. He is a guru. But by the order of Bhagavan, he is going to manipulate, going to search Sastra, Gita, Upanishad, Veda, is it in there? It's Mahabhat. To support Mahabhat. But not going to touch Srimad Bhagavatam. Because it is impossible to establish Mahabhat by the help of Srimad Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam, first of all, Bhagavatam is non different from Krishna body, Shabda Brahma. So you should realize this point. That I can come down to any double mean? I can come down to any double mean? Srila Prabhupada is Paramhansa Param Paramartha Patim Patito Dharane Keto Besha Jatim Jati Raja Gonoi Parishabha Padam Panama Mishada Prabhupada Padam Come on, if Prabhupada is topmost Paramhansa, then why is going to take sannyas? Why? has some reason. That is called Radha Dasya. He never wants to identify, I am Paramahansa. It is adversity. Those who are humble, they never can speak this way. Pope purposely coming down from Paramahansa level, purposely. Coming down means not going to lose his potency. Potency is there. Purposely, Pope come down to Sanyas level, so that he can preach properly or foolish people can understand, accept. Follow. There is no difference between sannyas and paramansabhas. But the only difference is that they are going to 
express some, you know, bhajanista. Bhajanista doesn't mean I cannot speak Harikatha. Oh, I can do Harinam three lakh. I cannot speak, har speak Harikatha. I am idiot number one. My speaking Harikatha is number one bhajan. In a whole day, whatever bhajan I am doing, by the mercy of Gurudev, that's okay. But when speaking for Harikatha, that is my topmost bhajan. So if my Hari bhajan and Harikatha preaching is contradictory, then surely I am not Gauri or devotee. I am Mayavadi. Follow what is it? If my bhajan and preaching is contradictory, I mean conflicting for me, then surely I don't understand Gauri bhajan. I have no right to go for preaching. All our Guru Bhargava preaching this way. I mean preaching means to speak all Shautabhani. Not even one single dot comes full stop anything. I cannot make. I have no right. Amendment cannot be done. Amendment cannot be done if you do, if you do some amendment, then you are a fallen acharya. You are a fallen acharya. Amendment cannot be done. Hey, representation can be some a little bit different way. But amendment impossible. Amendment not possible. Mahaprabhu never wanted to make any amendment in Madhya Gauri Sampradaya, Madhya Gauri Dhara. He wanted to add some excellent amendment, so as that ultimately this Madhya Gauri Sampradaya, ultimately you can have this kind of scope. Mahaprabhu never to make some distortion. Mahaprabhu and Bhagavan Sri Krishna, he is himself, he has his right and the reason for why he came. So, people thinking, that come down to any double mean, I can do anything. Like an anarchist, foolish, not that. Keeping in, keeping in mind, be careful, keeping in mind that my, that my Gauranga Dasya should not be disturbed. Like one sloka I can speak from Sandarbha. Then you can realize very easily. Jiva Goswami was writing, <coughs> Jiva Goswami was writing, Guru Bhag Gaya, Tat Sevan Avirodhena Cha, Annesham Opi Vaishnavanam Sevanam Sreya. What is Jiva Goswami was writing? Jiva Goswami was writing, Guru Bhag Gaya, by the order of Gurudev, because mainly I am following my Sadguru. If my Guru is Asad, then surely I can live. That's not a big issue. But I am speaking of Sadguru, standard. So first point, if I am going to follow my Sadguru, Sila Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami Maharaj, in total, if you can show you are deviated, oh, he is speaking so softly, you are speaking heavily. That's not the difference. Kesav Goswami is speaking so heavily. Santoma is speaking. That doesn't mean they are deviated. Representation. Keshav Maharaj speaking heavily. Where Bhaman Goswami Maharaj speaking humble. Their representation. Kishnadas Kubira Goswami humble. Bindavan Das Chakam I can kick on your head. That is all Tinadam. You cannot understand. Prabhupada speaking, it is different kind of manifestation, expression of Tinadam. It is different kind of expression of that same Tinadam. But Bindavan Das Chakam represent this way. <coughs> Krishna's combination, that is the reason. But inside all Tinadi, if not Tinadi, he has no power to speak. Harikatha cannot come. He can memorize one page or two pages and come as a lecturer on the past lecture. But Harikatha, where, when you are getting the backing of your acharan, as shown by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that is totally different, exclusive. So, Papa speaking, this way we will have to be very careful, otherwise we cannot. So, I told that day, so that you can understand. So, keeping in mind, keeping in mind, my Gaura Anugatta, I cannot speak Radharani, I am a fallen soul, not up to that level. So, so that my Nithananda Anugatta, Gauranga Anugatta is not disturbed. 
keeping in this mind, I can arrange the situation in such a way, I can permit the situation to go up to that limit, so that my main theme, I mean to preach Gauranga Vani, is not disturbed. I mean, I can get the maximum success. Success in the sense, I can, you know, I can help them to adopt. That is the Siddhanta Prishya. So, Jiva Goswami was speaking, keeping in mind that your main, keeping in mind, keeping in mind that your main Guru Anugatva is not disturbed. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that your main Guru Anugatva is not disturbed, taking permission from Guru Parpadma, you can serve other Vaishnav, elevated Vaishnav, to get bumper success. Whereas the Guru is speaking, don't go, he is not Vaishnav, I am only Vaishnav. Don't go there, they are all fallen, they are beast. Then, in the beginning he is going to make mistake. I allow you to go big, big Vishnab. I used to say, go to Tito Maharaj, Bharti Maharaj, all big, big Go bound Maharaj. Many people coming to me to take Diksha. I used to say to them, to Bhavan Maharaj, Tito Maharaj, go, 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 go. Santo Maharaj, Kuma State. Oh, you go there. I speak my name. I never want to become Guru. First point. Because I want to become Guru. That's why I don't want to become Guru. So I understand what he say. So calm down to any level doesn't mean you can make some manipulation. And you can do anything you like. Not that. You have to be very careful. So, come down to any level means, I can give <clears throat> another example. Last day, I mean the Gaur Purnima day, to preach, to give you the style of preaching, which is the way, adopted by the Prabhupada, which is the actual preaching. That I can speak last day, because it's more practical. So, now point is that, Maharaj, you start with this sloka, patra patro vicharanam na kurite na sam param bhi. Then why you are speaking so heavy? Why you are speaking so heavy? Same question came, same question came in front of Srila Satchidanda Bhakti Thakur. Some important personality of our society, materially, not. He is speaking Thakur, Bhakti Thakur. We can allow everybody. We can allow everybody to enter into Gauriya Bhajan field. What wrong in it? What wrong in it? We can allow. After that, the question of survival of the fittest can be applicable. Can be applicable automatically. Survival of those who can stay, others who can go away. Bhakti Mataka, no man, not so easy. Now it is so easy. Now it is so easy. All over the world. Cats and dogs anywhere. Oh, no problem. Come. Number. We need number. But Guru Vaishnav never like to count any number. Quality and quantity can never persist together. Even before taking Harinam, Popad used to you is a check up. What is your mentality? What to speak about sannyas? After twenty-five years, twenty-five years, twenty years. To watching after that can think he can give sannyas or not not a matter of job at present very easy only we will have to subscribe then oh, i am with you yes. you can get everything all facility this is our preaching at present so <coughs> so actually what i mean to say that Prabhupada speaking. What I am speaking right now? Bhakti eh? Bhakti Thakur. Bhakti Thakur speaking. No man. No. We cannot allow everybody to come into Gauri Bhajan. You cannot give entry. We cannot allow the most pure, delicate Krishna Prem which is available in Chaitanya Sampradaya Chaitanya. We cannot allow any contamination. No. Better I can keep my goshala. Better I can keep my goshala vacant. 
Better I can go. I cannot allow any we <coughs> I cannot allow any wicked cow to enter and make this children. No. So you are going to violate the instruction of Bhakti Muttaku. You want to prove you are most merciful. You are the more and more merciful. Then Bhakti Muttaku. That is your audacity. That's why you are a fallen soul, can be detected very easily. You cannot just prove that you are following your Gurudev. If you prove, I can leave everything, all, everything. I, I can write. If you can prove that you are following Pra Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta, I can leave everything and go away. <coughs> you cannot prove. <coughs> I'm making some manipulation. So now point is there. Now I give the answer. Why Prabhupada Sarsiva wrote Patra Patra Vicharanam na Kurute na Shang Parang Vikshate Shang Bhav. Eh? Why? But you are going to speak, Bhakti Murtak is going to speak this way. Well, this question is there. <coughs> Whereas Prabhupada Sarsiva is speaking all about uh, Goranga Mahapu. Yes. Yes, this way, all people, most of the people, they like to take undue advantage of this sloka, undue advantage. Because they don't know that was applicable for that time. It was a special discount. That was a special discount when Mahaprabhu appeared. Like a Chaitra Mas, this Chaitra, March and April, if you go to shop, they can give 50% discount in sari, garment, everything. That doesn't mean whole year you can get discount. Follow. So that was the special case at the time of, and when Mahaprabhu appeared, appeared in this world, a special case. Mahaprabhu not going to think about his qualification, is qualified or disqualified. That was a special case. Same thing was approved by Bhagavan. I can, you can now start argument again. That's why to stop your argument, I know. That's why again I like to go back to Bhagavatam. I know your argument can come. That's why I like to give some evidence from Bhagavatam. When <coughs> Chatushan went to, when Chatushan went to, Vaikuntha, you can remember. I'm not going in details because my purpose is totally different. But into Vaikuntha, that sign they were checked in the gate. No, don't tell them. Don't, you are not. Why? I'm not allowed. No. Then they wanted to keep the stick. <coughs> so Chatushan was agitated. Why? You foolish? Who can come to Vaikuntha? You don't know? Who can come to Vaikundha? So you are going to check us. So ultimately, Chatushan, they wanted to give some cars. Of course, that cars already approved by Bhagavan, he told. Because it's my one kind of game. Oh, we have done some of it. No, it's my desire. So I give inspiration in Sarah to give cars. This way. <coughs> After that, speaking with Jai Vijay, Vishwanath Chakuti writing, Jai Vijay, actually I am capable, I can cut the effect, I mean reaction of this, <coughs> these cars, I can do so. I am capable, I can cut these cars, but I don't like to do so. Because the, because the Shastra Siddhanta, I already, put, so I don't like to go against. I can cut. You are, you are getting now cars now, I can cut easily, but I cannot cut. This is not my rules. Whatever rules and regulations set is not subject to amendment. Sometime out of extreme love, Bhagavan going to violate some thing that is different. But this is not, not in this kind of serious case. Sometimes Bhagavan is going to violate, going to prove that I am wrong, my devotee is okay. But that is extremely different, totally different. Like in the case of Kurukhyatta Yuddha, 
fighting. Bhagavan Sri Krishna took resolution, I can never take, no, I cannot fight. I can only act as a, as a hmm, driver. So finally, Bhagavan is going to take up one big wheel and going to beat whom? Pitama Vishya, jump from the chariot. Pitama Vishya, before leaving his body, Pitama Vishya, before leaving his body with folded hands, speaking, that kind of picture I like to put inside my heart forever. Who is going to break his own resolution, going to prove that devotee is speaking all as right, and going to jump from the chariot like a lion to beat me. Pitama Vishya speaking, I like to remember that picture. So you see. So, Bhagavan speaking in front of Jai Vijay. I can cut. So, one can cut but cannot cut. <clears throat> so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming in this material world, especially this Kali, I have no uh, scope to speak all in details about this. The topics is different. The procedure of uh, preaching, divine preaching procedure of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Unique. Never, nobody adopted this kind of, or in future I think nobody can. No bhutam, no bhavishvati. Not in future, not in present, but in the past. Nobody. Impossible. But that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming with his resolution. That I told yesterday, you can remember, what sluk I told in the beginning? Prasari to prema pujushara sasagare chaitanya chanda prakate jatina dina evasa. I can give so many examples. Even one kind of riddle. Riddle, you know, dada, dada. Riddle. You don't know riddle? Foolish. <laughs> riddle mane, one word is confusing. Inside this word, so many inner meaning. So, Advaita Gosai wrote, I can come to this point tomorrow, not today. Advaita Gosai writing, Hello, to Gauranga Mahaprabhu, one. Nice riddle. And, and asking Jagadananda, you can hand over this to Prabhu. Prabhu reading, a very Bengali and crude language. Aulre ko yo, nabekai chaul, aul. Nobody understand who is Aul. What do you mean by chawal rice? Uh, rice is not going to be uh, sold in the market anymore. I, enough rice sold. What do you mean? But Advaita Gosai writing, Mahaprabhu realized. Mahaprabhu speaking, well, Mahaprabhu realized, well, that Acharya is a great pujari, is a divine pujari. How to invite deity? And how to, you know, submerge in the water of Dvita very good. That I can discuss tomorrow, not today. So this way, when Mahaprabhu came, came with his resolution that I can deliver everyone. This is a special case. Even Muslim, Muslim people, going to help Mahaprabhu to cross the river. Follow. There, when Mahaprabhu going out, coming down from the boat, it is written that the Muslim boatman, he fall down on the ground. He is still unconscious, crying like mad. This is the power of Sri Gauranga. Gauranga not taking any missile. Nityananda Prabhu wanted to give some warning. To Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, you are inviting will? Why? Why you are going to invite will? To kill Jagai Mada? It is your resolution. You are going to break? Lawmaker is a lawbreaker? No, you cannot. You should show Kripa to them. Because in this avatar, you have taken resolution that you cannot take any missile or weapon anything. Tomorrow I can discuss this sloka. Very nice. Tomorrow. 
Very nice. So only your missile is Sankirtan. And you like to give. That Mahaprabhu never wanted to give prema to whom? Those who are off. Those who have done some offense. For them, be careful. For them, Mahaprabhu not giving. Even Swachimata is a universal mother, infinity world, even in Gologdham, everybody knows it. But she was not giving prema because mentally she has done some offense unknowingly. That his name should be Daito, not Adaito. Otherwise, my first, my first son gone, and the second son also going away. He is arranging. Second son also going away. So how is possible? This much. So Mahaprabhu sitting inside. Everybody as a super soul. Mahaprabhu not going to. I cannot. Prabhu, you give prema to our mother Sochima. No, I cannot get. I cannot give. I mean, code name. I mean, not I. Sachima, the name of Sachimata is Aima. I. One name of Sachimata is Aima. <coughs> I doesn't mean I and you, not that. I. Sachimata, one name of, one, another name of Sachimata, I. So, Sachimata, I cannot give prema to her because she has some offense and to lotus feet, Advaita Gosai. Everybody, Advaita Gosai, fall down on ground by hearing it. In the meantime, Sachimata going to take dust particle, so the lotus feet of Adhyayi because they are putting on head. Then, Mahaprabhu was able to give prema. Follow. So, don't try to make some confusion. It is my request unto your lotus feet. He you say, Ari, Mahaprabhu came to give every... No. Those were heartless. Here, so many questions can come. So many questions. But you have no power to put question even. You have, you, have no, you have no idea how to put question. This is your condition. First of all, you can put question, Maharaj. They in ten, there is a list of ten Namaparads. First, there is one Namaparad. Those who have no Sraddhya, those who have no Sraddhya, you, have, you cannot give Nam to them. Then why Mahaprabhu going to distribute Nama everywhere? Why Mahaprabhu asking Nityananda and Haridas, go everywhere? Yeah, this is my order, distribute everywhere. Why? So Shraddha is there, but you have no power to put question. You have no power. This question should come on your part. The, if this, this is the instruction of Gauranga, go. Pa papi, tapi, try to remember papi, papi means sinful activities. All your sinful, all your sinful activities result, I can take up to that point, up to this point. After that I cannot take. That's why you will have to like some resolution. Follow. You don't understand. Actually, those who are making offense, unto a lotus feet of Guru, Vaishnava, Shastra, Nama, Dhamma, for them, Mahaprabhu not take. <clears throat> like I already told you yesterday, when some student wanted to beat Gauranga Mahaprabhu, who is Gauranga? Who is Nimai? We can beat him. Let him do. Then when they are planning to beat Nimai, then all their education, all their study, all their education, all finish. They cannot remember. They develop some offense. Because Bhagavan now coming in the form of devotee, though he is Supreme Lord. So after that, Mahaprabhu took resolution to take sannyas. Because how to deliver them? Those who are committing offense for them, I can take sannyas, so I can go to their gate. Their, this conception is sannyasi. So, you can, so this way I can deliver them. This way I can deliver them. So now question can come. Mahaprabhu putting no con condition. Patra, patto, vicharan, na kurute, na sa, sang, parang, bhikshate. 
Deya Deva Vimarsaka Nahi Nava Kala Pratiksha Prabhu. This is not the time to give prema. Not that. He is qualified, he is not qualified. Not thinking. To everyone. Only, only the thing, there should not be any offense. Upper, eh? uh, should not be any offense. Aparat. So, Mahaprabhu, that doesn't mean it is applicable for all infinity. Not there. Not there. Otherwise, North Mutakur is a liar. Abhakti Mutakur liar. Somebody is going to misinterpret. In Vrindavan, Senior Maharaj, I am traveling with him, I am traveling somewhere with him, going somewhere. He is speaking that Nabujito de Prem Don. Nabujite de Prem Don, Bengali. Without any bhajan, giving prema. So, no need of bhajan. No need of bhajan. He is quoting North Madagudi Sloka. Follow. Misinterpret. That was applicable that time. Common people, anybody coming, all, even beasts and birds, Mahaprabhu going to. But not now. If now it is applicable, then why North Madagudi writing? Then why North Madagudi writing? Shadon bhajan lila tahate na karo hela kaya mane koriya shushar. Nobody reading. I think. Otherwise, why you think this way looking at you? You read it? Eh? You are following Ruga, Raganuga bhajan. So elevated. So you have to leave North Mudhaku. is not qualified. So why? Otherwise, why not reading? It's very common and famous. Shadon saran lila tahate na karo hela kaya mane koriya. Only this sloka, if I go on explaining, it will be a long time. Only this sloka. What is the inner meaning? Shadon smaran lila. I mean your sadhan and your heart should be parallel. Follow. Shadon saran lila tahate na karo hela. Don't try to show any lethargy, laziness. Try to rectify, try to harmonize your heart and mind and Gurudev. Even those who are Bengali men, they cannot understand. They are Bengali. Shushar, they don't understand. You have to make some balancing. Your mind, heart, your bhajan. Guru Varga, Kaya Mane Kori, that is called karma, harmonize yourself. But you are not harmonized. If you are harmonized with Guru Dev, then why you are going to fight with me? This is a symptom that you are 100% not harmonized with Guru Dev. Because you are fighting with me. It's the same thing what Prabhupada told us. Otherwise, you should not have any doubt where Guru Vishnu is speaking all Sautabani. There should not be any doubt in it. Doubt is there because you are not following Parampara. That is why you are developing problem. You are deviated from the track of bhajan. You think you are in line, but you are not in line. Kai mane koriya shushar. So, Bhakti Thakur also wanted to speak this way. that We cannot allow everybody. We cannot allow you to bring some garbage in Nam Hatta. This is the main duty of all Acharyas. This is the main duty of all Acharyas, to keep the Nam Hatta clean. I mean, where Nam Sankirtan go on, it should be very clean. There, there should be no manipulation. All is clean, Nam Bhajan. So, now you understand, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is ready to give prema even to beasts and birds. If not so be the case, then why Narottam Thakur doing Kirtan in Manipur where nobody understands language? Because when Narottam Thakur doing Kirtan, Gauranga appear in the Kirtan. And it is written in Kirtan. It is written. That Poshu Paki Jure Pashana Bidare Suni Jar Gunogata. Even beast and bird started shedding tears, sitting on the branch of the trees. 
by North Moon doing Kirtan in Manipur. Manipur people, they do have no idea about what Bengali language. North Mutagur singing in Bengali language. He don't know him. He is not in a temple sitting and doing Kirtan. All around, thousands of people are gathered. By seeing the body effulgence with the power of Kirtan. Ooh, we see. That is why still today we can find Manipur people, they are accepting Gauranga. Still today. Because of North Mutaku. Extreme East portion. That's why we are getting. So, actually point is that North Mutaku writing that now you will have to be very careful about your Sautapantha, I mean Guru Parampara, Bhagavad Parampara. He must be in a position to harmonize everything, no disparity, slightest deviation from the track of Guru Pad Padmo or Guru Varga can throw you away from your bhajan. Slightest deviation from the track of your Guru Pad Padma, I mean Guru Varga, can throw you away from bhajan. Whereas so much disparity I am going to show you. Come on, man, you see, I discover all this disparity. But you think I am criticizing. You think I am criticizing. But Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. It is not criticism. Bharati Maharaj, Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. Surely it is not criticism. If I am going to point out that this is, this is disparity, it is not a Guru Parampara. This is, that is, Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. Bharati Maharaj repeatedly told. It is no. Who told you this criticism? It is the duty of Acharya to point out. I already, people are blind. I am many times published. Popa speaking, where? Popa, right? Popa writing in Bengali. In Upadishamrita you can find. Where, where you can find some wrong Siddhanta Vichara and etiquette in Gauranga Samaj, it is the duty of all pure devotees, those who are under the shelter of Sarup. I mean those who at least discover Jive Sarupa Krishna Nitodas, Sarupa Sita. Even language you can understand. How we can understand Anamini? Language you cannot understand. How you can understand in your meaning? Language. Papa speaking, those who are Sarupasrita devotee, it is their main duty to arrest and rectify. Rectify it. It is not criticism. Those who are speaking, they are demon. It is not criticism. It is the duty of an Acharya. Provided is following Guru Bhargava, properly. Provided you have some advocacy. Without advocacy, you have no right to speak. For Bhakti Mataku's Pope are speaking, if there is some wrong conception going on, wrong Siddhanta, they are going to preach, it is the duty of all Sarupasthas, the devotee of Gauriya. It is their duty to arrest it, to point out to public. Wrong Siddhanta Bichar, Kapat Sadhu, cheater, should be brought into light, Prabhupada told. They should be brought into light, this is called Hari Bhajan. This is called Hari Bhajan. That's why Bhakti Mataka told na, one Babaji Maharaj for Navadip, almost every day used to go to Kishanagar court to file one case against some or other. Follow. Almost every day. Then some group of Babaji's going to Kishanagar and speaking to Bhaktivinoda Thakur. This sadhu is not busy with his bhajan. This sadhu is not busy with his bhajan. He is always busy with criticism. That's why he is coming and writing some, uh, I mean, filing some case against these Babas, those Babaji. Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking. This is bhajan. You are not doing bhajan. You are sitting in a solitary castle and doing Harinam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. 
this you are doing. This is your, but actually you are not doing bhajan. He is doing bhajan. Bhakti Muttagura, he is doing bhajan because he cannot be here. Bhakti Muttagura, he cannot be here that you are going to, you know, take undue advantage of his shastra. You are, you know, going to, you are going to, you know, you know, do some bad association with widow, your character. You are going to, you are, you are going to cheat widow to take her land in your name. You have to transfer this way. This way it is written. This way it is written. Bhakti Thakur spoke that you are doing all, you are going to take property of Bhagavan. You are going to destroy the property of Bhagavan. You are going to cheat Guru Vaishnava, widow, innocent. So he cannot be here. He is coming and filing one case against you all. He is doing bhajan, Bhakti Muttakutu. You are not doing bhajan. So what is bhajan and what is not bhajan? To realize this point, you will have to become qualified. So, now we see that at the time of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, preaching was very special preaching. Very special preaching because Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord. He is the Supreme Lord, Lord of all Lords. So Mahaprabhu, Swayangrup Avatar, not even Krishna, Radha and Krishna both coming. So is that in this this time, Mahaprabhu has taken resolution to distribute prema to everybody except those who are offenders. That going to give everyone. So Mahaprabhu adopting is such a procedure that is unique procedure. Not when you think you are qualified or not. Hey, you are not initiated. What do you mean by initiation? What do you mean by initiation? What initiation in your life? Somebody can put question. Why Mahaprabhu in course of going in forest of South India? How is possible that Mahaprabhu distributing prema to them? Whereas they are not even initiated. They not meet with even any sadhu. Beasts and birds to them distributing prema. Whereas at present, after taking initiation for a long time, we are not getting any prema. This question can come. That was a special thing. Very special thing. Vasudev Bipra. Hello. Kurma Bipra. A meeting. They like to go with Mahaprabhu. No. You go. Amar Agai Guru Haya Tarai Desh. Everybody like to take undue advantage of this sloka. What Mahaprabhu told, na? Amar Agai Guru Haya Tarai Desh. You go. It is my order. You go and distribute prema to everybody. Hari? People speaking, it is a standing instruction. It is a standing instruction of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Jare dekho tare koho Krishna Upadesh. Try to hear, open your ear. Everybody like to take undue advantage of this sloka. Jare dekho tare koho Krishna Upadesh. Who, who, whoever you see, you try to distribute prema. Jare dekho tare koho Krishna Upadesh. Jare dekho tare koho Krishna Upadesh. Follow. Amar agai guru haiya taro desh. So whoever you meet, you give advice of Krishna. Hare Krishna you speak. Or Mahamantra you speak. So it's confusing. Whereas in Namaparadi you think there is no sraddhya, you have you cannot if there is no sraddhya, it is standing instruction. No sraddha, don't give. But whereas Mahaprabhu sending Nityanandan uh, Harida, go. Ama, go everywhere and distribute. What do you mean? All confusing. You cannot understand. How somebody can take undue advantage. So what is the meaning? Try to understand. 
Gauranga Mahaprabhu, when giving instruction to any particular man, like who? Be it Vasudev Bipra or Kurma Bipra, whoever it is, Mahaprabhu is going to meet and translating power. Without bhajan, miracle, there is no guarantee that they are doing sufficient bhajan what? <laughs> to Vasudev Bipra, all, you know, Vasudev Bipra, all, Kurma Bipra, or Vasudev Bipra full of leprosy, Mapo embrace, and bless, go. I like to go with you. No. No. You have to go to village to village and try to jare dekho tare koho Krishna upadesh amara gai guru haya taro edes. It is my order. With this order, Mapo is going to transfer power in. This kind of preaching inconceivable. Multiple way. Multiple way. Mapo meeting with Kurma Bipro, Vasudev Bipro, all of them. Kurma Bipro, Vasudev Bipro going to some village, meeting with 100 or 10 people, and power going to 10 of them, each 10 of them. After that, they are going. Multiple way. Mahapu giving power to Kurma, Kurma Bipro or, you know, Vasudev Bipro. But one Mahapu speaking, Amaragya Taro, Amaragya Guru Haya Taro, they are going. And when they are meeting with some other man, village man, also they are getting power from Vasudev Bipra. This way, multiple way, Mapo wanted to distribute Prema. That was exclusive case. That is not applicable at present. Special power translated. That you cannot apply right now. That doesn't mean you can apply that there is a standing instruction of Gauranga Mapo. Amaragai Guru Haya Taru Amaragya Guru Haya Taro Edes, that was applicable that time and also applicable now. But how? First of all, you will have to be Guru. After that, you can follow. The only basic difference that time, Mahaprabhu making the Guru by, his own, by giving his own darshan and power. By giving his own darshan and power, translating. And automatically, they become Guru. Multiple ways. Because without Guru, who can advise? Kiba, Kiba be pro, Kiba nashi, Shudra can annoy, Jai Krishna Tattvata say Guru. So Mahaprabhu give power so that they all understand Krishna Tattva. So they are translating. So Mahaprabhu making them Guru. And at present, you will have to first, you will have to become Guru. After that, you will have to go for teaching. Amar Aggai Guru Haya, not Logu Haya. Amar Agai Guru Haya, not Logu Haya. Follow. Not that you are in Maya, you are preaching. Not this kind of preaching. Amar Agai Guru Haya, that time it was applicable that way. And at present it is applicable this way. First, now at present, you will have to become first Guru, genuine Guru. After that you can go for preaching. No jealousy, no fighting. But everybody likes to get undue advantage. Now I can touch this point that this is excellent procedure adopted by Siman Mahap. Prabhupada Sadhu already told. Miracle. All the wives of Prataparuddha, they are sitting on elephant in row. They are sitting in elephant. Prataparuddha read, King Arends, they are sitting on elephant. From distance, long distance, watching that Gauranga going on. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. A long distance. They are watching Mahaprabhu. They are developing prema and tears rolling down their cheeks. How possible? How possible? They never meet with Gauranga Mahaprabhu before. They have no idea by watching. Prema. That's why he told na, Yo saddo pranameksh, pranamekshana, eh, pranamekshana dhyana dina durlabam datte bhakti rasam, which is extreme meditation cannot give. And what Narthamutha Lochundas Chakuru, Brahmaro durlabha premo shabakare jache. 
You heard this kirtan? Foolish. Brahma, which is rare for Brahma Sankar. That prema, Goranga given to everything. Take, 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 take. You have no, I have no pot. To give prema, I need some pot, no? No need of pot, you come to me. So how I can give? Suppose I like to give you some milk, to you, pure milk. So I say, you come, I like to give you yogurt. So first of all, I like to see your pot, no? Where you can take? If this pot is there, the small pot, like my pot, does this kind of prema can be? Follow. And if you have big pot, you can give big pot. Oh, big pot! Then you can give big pot. According to the capacity of your pot, Mahaprabhu can give. There is no restriction. Like in Vrindavan, we are doing Bhandarana. They are finally, when Bhandar is over, they, they is, those Vrindavan devotees are speaking. Radha Rani ka Bhandara khula hai. Lutna hai to luto, nahi to futo. Hindi. Brajwa. Radha Rani Bhandara is endless. If you are sufficient, then go. Or if you like to more, then you can take, come. Then you come, I can give more. This is the case of Madhu Goswami. You need more? No. Then why you are going to? Those ghosts, they can take. You like to take more Paramana? Then why you are going to fight with them? Why? So this is the... This way, this way actually, this way actually going to distribute. So Mahaprabhu, no restriction. It depends upon your pot. I, I no pot. And no pot, okay? I can give you pot. Come. I can give you both pot and milk. So if there is no pot, Mahapu can give you pot. Pot means qualification. Mahapu can give you pot. At the same time, qualification means pot. Pot means qualification. The pot, at the same time, Prema Rasa, very excellent avatar, you see. No question I cannot give to him. Oh, he come late. No. Endless prema. I can discuss tomorrow how Mahaprabhu wanted to distribute. How Mahaprabhu was anxious about the proper distribution of prema. What speaking to Advaita, what speaking to is a vast thing. Two hours is nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Follow. So finally, Mahaprabhu going to arrange it this way. Pot is not there. I can give pot and pray mouse. Problem. But at present, it's not available. So, Amaragai Taro Guru Haya Taro Ides. This is the meaning, inner meaning. Don't try to take undue advantage of this sloka. It's offensive. And another point, okay, you try to explain this point. What point? The Namapara. If there is Namapara, Ten, ten nama parat gaya. Out of ten nama parat there, one is Asadda Banjane Nama Padesh. You cannot give nama to such a people who has no sradhya. Follow? Now my question is that, what do you mean? All outside people, they have a sradhya? They have sradhya? Then why Mahaprabhu speaking to Nityananda and go door to door, you run and give prema? That is confusion. It's not confusion, no? Ten Kavya Nama Parad in Padapuran, this is also by Bhagavan. And here also Bhagavan speaking, they are contradictory. How we can believe? If Shraddha is already there, try to understand. If Shraddha is there inside everybody, then why they are not taking Harinam? If so, that is there. Then why? Why we need to preach? If so, that is already there, then somehow they can do Harinam. And if so, that is not there, then we'll have to preach. Why? Because Sodha, we'll have to, we'll have to arrange Sodha. We'll have to develop, we'll have to help them We'll have to help them develop sadhya inside them. Then there's a confusion again. So the meaning is that 
what Mahaprabhu wanted to say? Mahaprabhu never wanted to say that if there is no sadhya, you don't give, because how we can expect that common people in the market, they have sadhya? How we can expect? And whereas Mahaprabhu already told, you can distribute prema to everybody, Harinam, Sankirtan, you can do, get to get, then Mahaprabhu speaking wrong or not? That question can come. Surely Mahaprabhu not speaking wrong. We understand wrong. Because if they have already Shraddha, everybody having Shraddha, then what is the utility of preaching? So surely Mahaprabhu wanted to say that you will have to develop Shraddha inside. You have to help them develop Shraddha. What to speak about other people, even to Jagai Madai? It was only possible for Nityananda, not Gauranga. Only for Nityananda it was possible. So, Jagai Madhai, they are drunk. They are full, overloaded. Overloaded, extremely overloaded with all sinful activities. Still, Nityananda wanted to help them to develop prema. They wanted to strike on the head, blood coming out. To make, to make fool of us that Nityananda is a material man. That's why blood coming. When Pritama Vishwa attacking Krishna, blood coming out from the body of Krishna, there is also Krishna wanted to make fool of us so they can people, demonic people, they can see they are material people. Though otherwise, why? We are from blood coming out. If Bhakti Pumatpuri is a Aprakit, then why blood coming out? To make full of you. Bhagavan can arrange so that we can get bhakti. At the same time, Bhagavan can arrange such a perplexing situation in which you will be in bewildering condition. Sitting there, but why you see? To make confusion inside you. So that you cannot get bhakti, which is rare. At the same time, Bhagavan can try. So, surely Mahaprabhu not going to mean that if there is no sraddha, you cannot give. Then what Mahaprabhu wanted to say? Mahaprabhu wanted to say, if somebody is offender, I mean, if you go to speak, I Hare Krishna, speak Hare Krishna, Balo Krishna, Karo, Balo Krishna, Kaha, eh? Karo Krishna, Sikha. You are speaking? The inner meaning is that, if somebody after hearing Harina, going to speak all rubbish against Harina, all speaking in rubbish against devotees, then you cannot give. Follow? Is speaking all rubbish you know, against devotees, against speaking all rubbish against Harinam, then you cannot. That is the point. Otherwise, Amaragai Taru, Guru Hoya Taru Edesh, after that, Jare Dekho Tare Koro Krishna, all complicated. We cannot get the meaning. The meaning is that at least those who are, at least those who have patience to hear, surely Nityananda not going to, uh, going, no, not running here and there, every, every house, all house, to beg for, for some rice. Nitharanbu surely not going to collect some rice. Eh? Pabhura Aggai, it is written in Bengali Kirtan. Pabhura Aggai Mura Mangye Bhikkha. Eh? Pabhura Aggai, by the order of Prabhu, we are begging to you one bhiksha, one beg, we are begging. What is that? Balo Krishna, Karo Krishna, Kaho Krishna, Siksha. Nanitananda Bhavari is speaking. So, those who have at least patience to hear him, not speaking rabbis, then surely they can get some benefit because Namacharya Haridas Thakur, come on, he is speaking Harinam. And Nityananda Balaram is speaking Harinam. Nityananda himself, Balaram, who is, a, who is the sole authority of preaching, he is speaking Harinam. So, any kind of Fallen soul, they can get. Because Nityananda is speaking Harina, Haridas Chakra is speaking. So, a special power was there. So, at least somebody not going to attack Harinam, 
A Bhagavan speaking all rubbish? Not that. Then you can. That is the meaning. Otherwise, it is it be, because otherwise this Siddhanta becomes useless. This Siddhanta becomes useless, no? Shraddhavan, if you find some Shraddhya, then you can speak. If there is no Shraddhya, you should not give Harinam. It is offense. It is it's a contradictory. So this way we can harmonize the Siddhanta Vichar. So Goranga Mahaprabhu wanted to arrange the situation in such a way so that everybody can get prema is arranged and time to time mahaprabhu going different places tomorrow you can we can discuss this special case everywhere mahaprabhu never become angry but still mahaprabhu became angry when mahaprabhu never became angry in course of preaching harinam they don't know is mahaprabhu swaying bhagavan I can discuss how Buddhists react, wanted to you know, attack the Bhattataris, but still Mahaprabhu not angry. Mahasu speaking. But Mahaprabhu became angry with Balla Bhatta because he is against Siddha Samipat. Try to understand. If somebody is speaking wrong Siddhanta, if somebody is going to express his adversity, then Mahaprabhu became angry. So Mahapu going to Mahapu going to give us advice where there is wrong Siddhanta, where there is audacity to prove that all Gauriya devotees, Gauriyama devotees are useless. That, that kind of audacity we can destroy. Like a fragile room, already destroyed. Nothing vital there. But still we are trying our best. This is the order of the Prabhupada. And also Gauranga Mahapu. Mahaprabhu wanted to break the fragile castle of whom? Ballabhatta. How dare? How dare you say that you cannot accept the uh, commentary of Siddha Samipat? How dare you say? Whereas Siddha Samipat writing everything by the direct mercy of Nishinga Dev Bhagavan. Siddharam Betti Nishinga Prasadat. Siddha Sanipad has the meaning of Bhagavatam, inner meaning, by the mercy of Nishinga in Badrak, Badrak, there is one hill. I went to the house of long ago. I went. In. So Badrak is a place, there is one place in the hilltop. There Siddha Sanipad used to do bhajan. And Baleshwar, interior place, very very into the village. In there I saw the house of Siddha Saipad. And the bhajan place I never went, but some devotee, Uriya devotee from Maharaj here. So oh, here. One lie one one time I went to Badrak to attend one Harikatha function. So in front of Siddha Saipad, Nishingo Dev appear and place his hand. Bless you know. So it is written, Sridharam Betti Nishinga Prasadat. By the mercy of Nishinga Dev, Siddha Sanipad had a full meaning. Maybe representation a little bit different. That's why it is because of diversity, unique diversity. So Siddha Sanipad writing this way. Siddha Sanipad writing this way. Vishwanath Chakra writing. Bijad Dhaja writing this way, Bir Raga writing this way. So what's wrong in it? Like a diamond. A diamond, if I look from here, it looks blue, Maharaj. You look from that side, it's Maharaj. It's infrared. If you look for the Maharaj, it's green. Everybody right. Bhagavatam means Supreme Lord Himself. So if you look from this angle, you can look this way. If you look from this angle, you can see this way. If I look from this angle, this is the harmony. So I cannot say that Siddha Sahib is wrong, I am right. So Mahaprabhu wanted to become very angry. How dare you say? Those who are not going to obey husband, their name I can count in the list of a pros. So Mahaprabhu becomes so many, angry. 
when wanted to explain the name, uh, inner meaning of Harinam, I mean Krishna Nam, he wanted to explain. Mahaprabhu said, I don't know, I am foolish. I am foolish, I don't know, I have no idea, you can read it to somebody. Mahaprabhu like to ignore hearing, because Mahaprabhu know, out of false ego, you like to explain. Actually, you see, but actually, you see, I have no idea. Only I know, Krishna is Jasudha Nandan. Jasudha Nandan, I this much I know. Nandan Nandan, this much is Sham Sundar, Jasudha this is enough for me. I am not so educated, nothing, I have no idea. Mahaprabhu to ignore, because Mahaprabhu is angry. So, devotees become angry when you are going to insult Guru Vaishnava, you are going to, you know, represent wrong Siddhanta, it is the standing instruction of Mahaprabhu. Same thing in the line of Bhakti Muttara Prabhupada, we will have to carry out. This is called Chaitanya mission. This is called Chaitanya mission. This is called Gauriya mission. If you like to avoid, it's up to you. You can do it. Go anywhere. I go go away from me. I don't never invite anybody. In my life, never. In my life, never anybody. All automatically come. Follow. So, try to realize this point. So, tomorrow I can discuss some exclusive procedure of preaching everything. So, try to remember this sloka is very Nice sloka, but while you are speaking and explaining, you should be very patra patra vicharanam, patra patra vicharanam, no kurute, no song, parang bhikshati, deya diva babimar chaka, no hi, no bakala pratiksha prabhu. Ya shaddo shobanekshanapanamano, dhyana dina durlabam, datte bhakti rasam, datte bhakti rasam, sa bhagavan gauraha, me. Paramam Ghatim. Vancha Kalpatur Vashike Pasin Bhaj. Patitanang Pavan Bho Vaishnav Bhyo Namo. All you will have to take inner meaning. If you take my mother, if you take outside meaning, you can misunderstand me. I can't. Why you are, you are my old mother? You know? Why you leave me and go away, become angry? Eh? It was my sister. No, no. If you, if you can chide me, if you can slap me, still I cannot, because you are my mother. But when you can speak wrong Siddhanta, I become angry. Okay, this is your mercy. <laughs> Not mercy. But I have one question. Huh? When, when Mount Mahaprabhu asked to Sachi Mata for one flower garland, and she told him, you wait little, I will bring. And then he also became very angry and was breaking everything. Oh, that was, that was, that was like human lila. This answer I can give someday, you can understand, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming, I mean, like our human being, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna or Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming in this world as a human being, then the predominating factor is like human being. Sarup, by Sarup Krishna speaking, I am a man. Not, if Bhagavan Krishna is going to think that I am Supreme Lord, this I will have to explain long time, long, long discussion. Follow? When Bhagavan Sri Krishna appears as a human being, then 100% is sorrow is like human being. Oh, I feel hungry. Why mother giving late, going to break the yogurt pot? It's all human lila. Extremely human lila. Sometime in Gaur lila, I have no time to discuss, you know. So many devotees, they are waiting in the... You can come to the new place, new place to see. You know, devotees can give some uh, dust particle from their feet. You know, they are going. So, no Bengali katha, but still devotees come. So, someday I can discuss how this lila, human lila, Bhagavan Krishna is excellent. How and why this human lila, Bhagavan Sri Krishna and Krishna Chaitanya become very excellent. Why? Because they are exactly playing like human being. If Bhagavan is going to express some appearances, then Leela, sweetness of Leela can go away. Follow? You make a mistake in the beginning. Human like Just human. 
If you are not giving lead, I can kick out. I don't need, like we used to do with mother. No, I don't need. Go away. Same Leela. If not so, then the Leela, we cannot find so sweetness of Leela. This is very important question. You put question. Someday I can discuss all in details. Huh? Follow? Okay? So now I have to go. Why you stay in you know, Baleswar? Why not come here? Eh? Because you are the disciple of my Guru. I love Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami so much. And, uh, I have seen the loveful relation between Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami and Bhakti Baba. I'm laughing. They're talking with so sweet. But people think Vaishnavas, they are demon by hearing their strong speech. No, wrong. So I'm going, huh? Eh?